With the increased incidence of life-threatening ailments, the Roosevelt's Carrot administration has joined other nations across the globe in embracing the use of technology in the diagnosis and the treatment of these illnesses. The procurement of over $2.6 million worth of equipment and supplies by the government is expected to assist health practitioners in the early detection of these illnesses. The earlier the detection, the more successful we will be in managing the incidence of some of the chronic diseases. Digital mammogram services began on February 11 on the ground floor of the refurbished former acute psychiatric building. With increasing number of cases of breast cancer, the new machine is expected to aid in the early detection of that disease. This government is concerned about the incidence in the number of cases of breast cancer among our women and we're determined to arrest the situation through early screening and diagnosis. The mammogram allows the doctor to have a more inept look at changes in breast tissue that may be missed during a normal breast examination. We take the pictures, the radiologist view it, and she writes a report and gives to the patient. We ask the patient to come back within three days for it. At the outpatient unit at the island's main medical facility, gastroscopy and colonoscopy services began on February 4th. We do gastroscopies only on Mondays, Wednesdays and Thursdays. We do colonoscopy on Fridays. Gastroscopy helps doctors to diagnose any problems their patients are experiencing within the upper digestive system, including recurring heartburn, a pain in upper abdomen, indigestion or difficulty swallowing. The gastroscopy is basically you, um, you viewing of the um, your stomach, your es from your esophagus to your um, duodenum, which is the lower part of your stomach. During the colonoscopy procedure, a thin, flexible tube with a light and tiny video camera attached to the end transmits images to a monitor which allows the doctor to see inside of the colon. Patients who have suffered severe bone fractures can now be operated on at the Princess Margaret Hospital. State-of-the-art orthopedic supplies needed for operating on severe bone fractures were recently procured and is already in use at the medical facility. For example, this one is to, when you have a fracture of the, of the femur or a hip fracture, like very common, this one is, is going to slide here, this one goes so. Okay, this one goes so. This one goes through here, and lock here, and another screw lock here. Okay, and that is the fracture is stable, and the patient can walk next day. This is a, a Mercedes Benz for for orthopedics. Okay. In this, we can do a hip replacement. Sometimes you need when the the hip is destroyed uh, or the joint is destroyed. You cut here and you drill here and you put this one here. And this is the acetabulum, okay? Despite the new advanced equipment, Dr. Julian cautions road users. Uh, no matter how the state of the art you have, uh, sometimes the injuries are, are serious and, and there is pain suffering for the patients. Uh, try to drive carefully. Dr. Kilson George, a Cuban trained orthopedic surgeon, is back home from studies and is impressed with the recently procured equipment now available at the PMH. The equipment is state of the art, up to date equipment, latest technology. It's something that we're going to need, something that will be put to good use. A computerized topography CT scan has also been procured by government and will replace the existing one at the hospital. The new CT scan is going to be much more superior than the existing one. The city scan uses x-rays and a computer to create detailed images of the inside of the body. The procurement of state-of-the-art equipment by the current administration is expected to improve the health services at the island's main medical facility. A lot of the difficult procedures which we had to send people to Martinique and Barbados for. From now on, we expect to, to do a lot of those things here. For National Focus, I am Moving Mafia reporting.